Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So here I have a, another inks comparison video. And this is my favourite turquoise inks comparison number two. So I think with that, let's swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the description, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad. These are the pads that I actually use when I'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink. So they have these little squares up here. Uh, I just use that because it's a good guide for me when I put this very thin sheet of Tomoe River over. I can actually see squares, so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page. Not always, but sometimes it does. The the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen or... <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3D, and it has a number eight size Bock nib, which I can unscrew, and you can see there. So it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size Bock nib, and the idea is I want to have consistency with the writing sample so I use this I dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it that's uh, how I do my ink swatches so I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here I have on this favorite inks comparison video for turquoise inks is Roar and Klinger and this is Blue Mare. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch and this uh, for me is a beautiful turquoise colored ink. Now turquoise do come in uh, blue or green, so you, depending on how you look at turquoise, um, this is a bluish turquoise. We'll do a second pass over the top half, and that's just to show the difference between a wet or board, or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And this is a Rora. And Klinger. And it is Blue Mare. But I would say that this is probably... I want to go out and say that this is my all-time favourite turquoise ink. It's a really nice light blue, sort of uh, cerulean blue ink. And it's just an ink that I do like a lot. The next ink here is Venustus. And it's Aqua di Spargi. Now... This is another ink that I am really liking a lot and has started to become almost my my uh, favorite turquoise colored ink. I have a few of these. I, I have Lamy turquoise. I have Visconti turquoise, uh, Raw and Klinger Blue Mare, and now this one. So let's do uh, an ink swatch here. 
and you can see again this is a very nice light blue turquoisey color and it gets a little bit drier towards the bottom and we'll do a double pass on the top half here just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib and this is a uh, venustus and it's aqua de spargi uh, but you can see there that those two inks are pretty close together in terms of the color at least when those inks are wet the next ink here is uh, an older diamine bottle that I have, and this is Diamine Aqua Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, you can see this is very similar. Uh, probably a little bit lighter, I would say, than maybe the first two. And it, again, it does get a little bit dry towards the bottom there. So we'll do a second pass over the top half and hopefully you'll see the difference between a wet and a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And this is a diamine. And it is aqua blue. Again, that's a very nice turquoise colored ink. And, and this was an ink that I bought, I think, early on, because it is one of the older Diamine bottles there. Uh, and I would say I'm probably still only about halfway through that bottle. Uh, I didn't really like turquoise inks earlier on in, in my um, fountain pen collecting. Uh, and uh, I have gone through half a bottle, but I've really not used that much lately but it has been one of my favorite turquoise inks for sure the next ink here is a waterman ink and this is inspired blue so we'll do an ink swatch and this is probably where it starts to get maybe a little bit darker in the turquoise range and again this is getting quite dry towards the bottom there We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or broad or dry or a narrow writing nib. And this is Waterman. And it's inspired blue. And again, that's actually quite a nice blue. Uh, maybe a little bit darker than uh, the previous ones. The next ink here is a Pelican Edelstein ink and it's Aqua Marine. Now this is where it starts to blur a little bit in terms of the colour or hue. So this is uh, an Aqua Marine is a little bit sort of a cross between a turquoise and a marine. So it's a little bit in the middle. So you're going to see a little bit more of a green here. So this, we'll do an ink swatch here. And you'll see here, it's a little bit more of, not a teal colour, but certainly a dip, sort of somewhere between a turquoise and, and a marine, I would say. So we'll do a second pass over the top half, just to show the difference between a wet or broad or dry or a narrow writing nib and I know that some of you will say that is not a turquoise colored ink but it's actually surprising uh, some people will see this as a turquoise so I wanted to add these in just so that they're there so this is a Pelican Edelstein and it is Aqua marine but as you can see there though it is more on the green side of things and then the last ink here is diamine aqua lagoon and we'll do an ink swatch and you can see here the difference between the aqua lagoon and the uh, aqua marine 
so there's a little bit of a more of a difference this is more of a bluish turquoise whereas the aquamarine is more of a, a greenish turquoise we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a, a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib and this is diamine aqua lagoon and i have seen a, a lot of uh retailer sites actually listing pelican edelstein aquamarine as a turquoise colored ink as well i think let's now take a look at these inks now that they have dried so the first ink here is raw and clinger blue mare and i will bring this up close and you'll see it here in all its glory uh, can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can. Is there shading going on? There's definitely shading in that pulled area. Is there sheen? There definitely is some sheen around the edges there. Um, but obviously, there isn't a huge amount. But you can probably see it there if I bring that up close. That You can see a little bit of a, a red uh sort of sheen going on there uh the writing sample is actually uh, quite nice as well uh, but there isn't any sheen in the writing sample the next thing here is venustus aqua de spargi and again this is becoming one of my favorite inks can you see the difference between a wet or broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib you definitely can is there pooling going on or shading? There is in here, in the, the pooled area. There's definitely some shading. And likewise, there is a little bit of sheen around the edges. Again, a little bit of red sheen. Not a huge amount. Uh, and you can't really see that in the writing sample. Uh, so it's really only going to be when you layer that ink on quite a lot. The next ink here is Diamine Aqua Blue. And again, this is a nice light blue turquoise colored ink. Can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can see the difference. Is there shading going on in the pooled area? Definitely some shading. Is there some sheen? Uh, definitely, it's trying to sheen there. There is some red sheen just popping out there. But again, you're not gonna see this on the writing sample. Now, another ink here is Waterman Inspired Blue. And again, this is a nice turquoise blue colored ink. Uh, and if I bring that up close, you can see, can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can see the difference. Is there shading going on? There is a little bit more shading going on here, but not as maybe vibrant as the pulled areas in the other inks. Uh, and you can get a little bit of sheen. It's trying to sheen here. Uh, I do get sheen around the rim of the bottle, uh, but you do really need to layer that ink on. Um, you're also not going to see the sheen there on uh, the ink sample, uh, writing sample either. Now, I know it's a little bit of a controversy, but I know some of you do think of a, a turquoise as being blue and, and sometimes a turquoise as being green so i added here pelican edelstein aquamarine and this is uh not a teal it's more of a marine color i would say but it's also got the blue uh in it as well but it's still more of a green uh colored so i thought i would show this one off can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib yes you definitely can is there any shading going on? There is a little bit, but it's hard to see uh, in that pooled area. But what you can see is quite a bit of uh, red sheen there on that um, ink swatch. So uh, you, again, you're not going to see it here in the writing sample. And then the final ink here is Diamine Aqua Lagoon. And again, this is really what I would say back to a normal blue turquoise colored ink. Uh, very nice color ink and uh, it's one that I, I actually purchased very early on and still like it a lot. Can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can see the difference. Uh, is there any shading going on in the pooled area? Definitely some shading going on. Is there any sheen? No, not really. Uh, it always tries to sheen a little bit here 
in the darker areas, but it just doesn't quite do it. But the writing sample is actually quite nice as well. So there you have it. That's my favorite turquoise inks comparison number two video. If there are any of these inks that you do like, let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if there are any other inks you'd like me to check out, do let me know in the comments below. So that's my favorite turquoise inks comparison number two video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.